Can we experience negativity and pain without suffering? Someone I love passed away after two and a half months of battling cancer. And through all of that, she said even though she was in pain, she wasn't suffering. No one is immune to pain and no one is immune to difficulties and challenges. But what we all have in common is the ability to build the courage and the strength to experience negativity, to experience pain without anger, without resentment and without suffering. How we see happiness becomes so important when we're faced with challenges. We know that we can choose to be happy, but sometimes happiness can be confusing. How can we be happy when we're ill? How can we be happy when we're in pain? If happiness is defined as something we feel, like pleasure or satisfaction, then it'll be difficult, if not impossible, to be happy when we're faced with challenges. If happiness is a state of mind, Mind where we accept everything and anything in our reality, then maybe happiness simply means peace, born out of the lack of resistance. Contrary to what the word implies, acceptance does not mean giving up or giving in. It simply means we stop resisting so that we can move forward. It is only through acceptance that we can remain calm and strong. Ironically, we fight better with acceptance because otherwise we're just resisting not fighting. Fighting simply means taking the wisest course of action for our peace of mind because that's the only thing worth fighting for, our peace of mind. No one is without worry or fear when we're faced with challenges. But courage is taking action in spite of fear. It's always easier said than done to take the action to be happy when life is difficult. But it all begins with how we define happiness and our state of mind. No matter what happens, here's to hoping we can learn to be at peace and thus be happy always.